it's Melanie. Happy Friday and welcome to Friday Favorites and Flops. Um, I am just a little bit congested. Not a little bit. I'm a lot congested. <laughs> I had horrible allergies this week. Um, I don't know what's going on. I normally don't deal with like seasonal allergies at all. So this is very new to me. Um, I don't know if it's just because the weather has been a little bit more crazy this year just in general and now everything is blooming all at once, but yeah, it's been a little bit rough um, with the old allergies this week. But despite that, I've still been piling a crap ton of makeup on my face. <laughs> so I'll be telling you guys about what I've been loving this week. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, I'm gonna dive into it. So let's start maybe with some hair. Um, I feel like I shouldn't even mention hair stuff because I really literally just got done blow drying my hair and didn't feel like doing anything to it. But what I have been doing this week, and I really love this product, and I hope I can find this to be able to link it for you guys um, just on its own. This is the Macadamia Professionals Tussled Texture Finishing Spray. This is something that I actually got in a set with the mousse from Holt Look. And um, I think Macadamia Professional is probably on Holt Look fairly frequently, so you can definitely take a look on there periodically and see if this set pops up. But um, I love this Tussled Texture Finishing Spray because it gives my hair just a ton of volume and you just it's like a sprayer you just spray it in your hair and it helps you like zhuzh your hair up and just gives it more um it makes it almost feel just a little bit dirty but not like gross like actual dirty hair but you have that same type of like grit to your hair that allows you to just do stuff with it like if i wanted to use my little curling wand thing that I got from Bedhead that I showed you guys in my haul there, uh, earlier this week. Um, it helps that wave stay in my hair a little bit longer when I use this first. This is just a really great product. I don't think this is the only like texturizing spray that's out there. I know that Bumble and Bumble makes one. Um, there's probably several others, but I really like this one. It doesn't make my hair feel too gross, but it does give it like a good amount of grip. So if I can find this on its own, I will definitely link it down below. Um, I really think it's worth checking out. Another hair care product I want to tell you guys about is from Hosk. Once again, I really love this drugstore hair care line. I get mine at Ulta. They also sell some of the Hosk stuff at Target stores, so you can see if they have it in store there. But I just, I like the points I get at Ulta, so I buy all this stuff there. This is the Charcoal with Citrus Oil Purifying Shampoo. I actually originally bought this just for Craig to be able to use. He really likes clarifying shampoos. His job, um, he gets pretty dirty at what he does, <laughs> especially during the summer. It can get kind of dusty, and it's just, um, he just has that type of, Gig. So he really likes things that can definitely like break down that dirt, um, you know, just the the grease and stuff that he has all over him when he gets off of work. And this, this is great, you guys, as a clarifying shampoo for my hair. So <laughs> I think we're going to be sharing this. Um, I don't think he has actually used it yet, but I have used it twice now since I purchased it. And I've been using it on Sunday as just a clarifying shampoo for my hair. And it really does strip all of that gunk from stuff like this. Um, my mousse, my different oils that I like to use in my hair. It gets rid of all that stuff and it allows you to have a clean slate. I put on a really nice hydrating deep conditioning mask after using this. And my hair just honestly looks and feels like a million bucks afterwards. It, this is very clarifying, but not to the point where you feel like your hair is straw, if that makes sense. A lot of purifying or clarifying shampoos can make your hair feel like straw. This one doesn't, but it definitely gets the stuff out. Plus, it smells really good. I'm pretty congested, but I can still smell that citrus. It just sm it smells amazing. So um, I would recommend this, um, you know, 
for all the husbands out there, uh, as well as just a clarifying shampoo for yourself. So it's a, did my cat come in here? Am I, ima I think I'm imagining things at this point. Um, okay. I have a new body butter to share with you guys. And this, this is fabulous. I love this. And, um, I'm already tempted to get a backup of it because I'm, I'm like spreading this all over my body. This is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea and Kapuasu Daily Defense Body Butter. Um, this is for environmentally stressed skin. Basically, this is good for dry skin. Um, it is a very thick um, cream that, I mean, you can see, like it's, like it's thick. But it rubs in like... After a little while, it takes a little bit more while, more work than a regular lotion, but once you work it into your skin, like, oh my god, your skin is so soft. I can't stop touching my legs. <laughs> I'm wearing shorts right now, and I've been using this after shaving my legs and just every morning, like, just getting out of the shower, period. Like, I've been reaching for this over some other things. Now, it doesn't replace my Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream, but it, for those of you that are on a budget, the Shea Moisture is obviously a lot more affordable. This has a similar scent. It's not spot on, but it's a similar scent to the Bum Bum Cream. Um, I would say fairly similar level of softness. Um, this does not have the slight shimmer that the Bum Bum Cream has in it. I actually like that shimmer effect because it helps to diffuse the look of the little spider veins on my legs um, and the <laughs> bruises that I constantly have and just, you know, I scratching my legs and having scabs on there. The Bum Bum Cream just helps it look a little bit better, but, but this is really great. Um, this does have the raw shea butter in it, the Kapuasu butter, pistachio, and passiflora oils. Um, it smells delicious probably not dude friendly like I don't think your husband would put this on but um it is incredibly softening and hydrating and I just I really like that and it, it goes great with a lot of my fragrances so I have been trying the Derma E Nourishing Rose Cleansing Oil this was actually sent to me last week in a PR package and I've been using it this week I'm down to about here um sorry it's got like it's kind of dirty because it's a cleansing oil, so I use it obviously on dry skin, and I've been using it to remove my makeup before doing my actual cleansing step. I really like this stuff. I never thought I could be a cleansing oil kind of girl, but I really like this. It's very, um, it hydrates your face. It definitely helps to break down the makeup, and then when you put the water on your face to rinse the oil off, it all just goes like it's really nice this is also um it has a really nice light rose scent to it it's not heavily fragranced but it does have a rose scent to it um and it just works this i i never thought i could be a cleansing oil kind of girl but this actually has me convinced i really like this the derma e you can find at ulta and a lot of times because it's on the drugstore side it's part of the buy one get one half off i think right now it's buy one get one half off so I'll link this down below. Um, it's really nice. Even if you have really oily skin like I do, I would suggest this. I don't know if I would suggest it for those of you that are like severely like acne prone or have really sensitive skin that breaks out um, when you use facial oils or things like that. Um, probably not good for those of you that have that issue, but the rest with just normal or oily skin that isn't prone to um, like cystic acne or anything like that, I think this is worth a try it's really nice I like it a lot um this is the last like skincare thing I have been meaning to do my in-depth review of this for quite some time I've been using it for a while you can see I'm already like I'm I'm going through this I'm gonna miss this when it's gone because it's really expensive I will still do an in-depth review of this to talk more in depth about the ingredients and what I've noticed in my skin but uh, um, for the last few weeks, I've been using the Eminence Organic Skin Care Bamboo Firming Fluid. This is a natural retinol alternative. I got this from Derm Store. This is wonderful. I'll just kind of leave it at that for now. I've been loving it this week. It is really expensive, so it's going to be one of those, like, is it worth the splurge type of things. Um, you do get a fair amount. It's 1.2 fluid ounces, so there's a lot. But I'll talk more about that in another video. And then makeup. Let's plow through this real quick. Um, most of this week I've been wearing the Tartlet in Bloom for my different crease shades. 
Um, I really like the Jet Setter and the Smarty Pants in my crease. So I've been going for really neutral eye looks as of late. Um, I love this palette. I know they're coming out with another one. Stella actually picked this out as part of a new beauty drawer, week, a bi weekly beauty drawer that I filmed for you guys. That'll be up on Sunday, I think. So she picked this out for me, and um, I'm really I'm enjoying it a lot. So um, yeah, the Tartlet in Bloom. If you already have this and you haven't pulled it out lately, I would definitely encourage you to do so. Beautiful crease shades in here, and also some really nice lid shades. So. There's that. Um, the eyeshadow that I'm wearing today is actually this Laura Geller duo that I got in a set. I don't know if you can get this on its own. If I can find it, I will of course link it, but this is Candy and Fig. So it's basically like a plum shade and then a peach. So I have the plum shade in my crease and the peachy shade on my lid. And I love this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really like Laura Geller products. I'm going to show you another one right now. Um, this, I think, I'm also going to record the review for this today, so you'll see this. You will have seen this yesterday. Pre-recording a lot of stuff, really, it's hard for me to, like, know, like, will you have already seen this? Or have I recorded this yet? Or am I recording it today after this? I have to pre-record a lot because I, I have a child, and I try to get as much done as possible while she is out of the house, so that means recording a lot of things at once and then, you know, like setting them for upload with the schedule and stuff. But anyway, I think this will have been up yesterday. This is the Laura Geller Filter Baked Correcting Setting Powder in Universal Apricot. Oh man, this is gorgeous. It is. It's apricot. I love the packaging, by the way. It has that netting. You guys have seen this before. I don't want to like have it all spill up, but you can see that netting in there. So you basically just kind of pounce your brush on here and, um, you know, apply the product to your skin. I've actually been using a little sponge. This one is from Real Techniques. I'll link this down below. These are great little sponges. I really do like the Real Techniques. And if you're someone who doesn't want to spend the money on a beauty blender, I find the results to be fairly similar. Um, and these are much more affordable. So I'll link this down below, but I'll just kind of pounce that in there and then press it into my skin and then use like a... Ugh, why is this not turning and then use like a fluffy brush to sort of brush away any excess um this is great I'm not going to talk about it too much I'll link the video down below where I go more in depth but this has been great and then my blush for this week Stella actually picked this out and I was so glad that she did because I've missed it it's the blush and fantasy air blush from Marc Jacobs this is what I have on my cheeks right now and I love it it just I feel like it's the prettiest like slightly mauve nude shade that just brings some life back into my cheeks and um, just makes me feel good. So, um, and for my lips, just really quickly, Stella also pulled this. This is the Annabelle Lipsy in Coco Vanilla. If you're in Canada, you can probably find this. I think they're still available. Um, my friend Stephanie actually sent this to me in a package. So, um, anyway, that is all that I have on my lips right now. So, keeping it fairly neutral today for the most part. Okay, that's everything. Um, I need to go grab a cup of tea, and um, I hope you guys have a really great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.